It's been a hot minute since I've been in a Wrangler, and this is the 4xe plug-in hybrid. I haven't been in this either, so let's talk about it. What's the powertrain, I hear you ask? No problem, that's easy. Every trim of the Wrangler 4xe gets Jeep's turbocharged 2-liter inline 4-cylinder engine that's mated to an electric motor, which gives you some additional horses under the hood. That means you're going to get 375 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. Those are really great numbers. Now, don't forget also that that powertrain goes across all trim levels. So that means you're going to get the same numbers whether you're getting the Sport S or the very top of the line Rubicon X trim. That power means you can do a whole lot with this SUV, and today that's exactly what we're gonna do. This powertrain, thanks to all of that torque, pulls quite nicely. So you are going to get some really good acceleration, whether you're just on the road and you're trying to pick up speed or you're going over some kind of massive bouldery obstacle. A capable eight-speed automatic transmission doles out that power. When I was driving my long-term turbo four-cylinder Sahara, yeah, you all remember SpongeBob Square Jeep, I had some complaints about the transmission not jiving with the turbo lag and it feeling almost dangerous when trying to get out of a sticky situation quickly. There was a part of me that was really hopeful that the electric motor in here would do a little bit of uh, torque fill when it came to acceleration and I'm not actually feeling it. So I guess I'm a little bit disappointed um, on that level. The other thing that I'm gonna say about driving a Wrangler is definitely know what it is that you're getting into. Um, with the steering that definitely has a very, very large dead spot right on center that kind of I, it feels like you gotta babysit it quite a bit, especially the Rubicon with these massive, massive knobby tires. These things are basically kind of traveling and taking you all over the road. You do have to do quite a bit of handling of this car. If you're driving it on the road in a commute, it kind of feels a little bit like it's a toddler walking around. After a long trip, you might just be able to say, you know what, honey, not tonight, because I got a bit of a headache. You may be over it. Other trims with less knobby tires are gonna drive a bit better on the road for you and be a bit quieter. But the Rubicon does make a commute a bit more uh, interesting. Thanks to those excellent KO2 tires and steering that no one would ever call precise, driving the Wrangler is a full focus deal. Your ride comes complement of a live axle front link suspension and a trailing arm rear, even on the Rubicon. What you don't get on every other trim are tough Dana axles and an electronically disconnecting front sway bar and locking front and rear differentials. But of course you know that with the Rubicon, where it really shines is on the dirt you are going to be able to do a lot of stuff out here. The front locker and the rear locker with those two things engaged, you really are going to be able to get a lot more traction over bigger obstacles. The sway bar can be disconnected, which I have already done here. Um, that's gonna do two things for you. It's going to improve articulation, but also it's going to prevent you from being kind of a huge bobblehead in the car. So where you may not enjoy the creature comforts of these tires and everything else on the road, boy, you're gonna love it out here. The Rubicon is known for its off-road prowess. It's named after the Rubicon Trail, after all. It's great at rock crawling, got a relatively short wheelbase, so it does decently on whoops at speed, and you get great traction with those tires on dirt if you're driving Baja style. What else is there, guys? Not much. Only now you're gonna be able to do even more of that because you have this hybrid engine. So you are gonna only have 21 miles of pure electric range, which, you know, it's not gonna get you that far down the beaten path. However, what it's going to deliver to you is 49 miles MPGE, 20 in the city, 20 in the highway. You guys, those are pretty good numbers. And let's face it, when you are driving this kind of a vehicle and you want to get out there, don't you want to spend more time out there? Yeah.
As for charging, it will take you about two and a half hours with a level two charger to refill the 17 kilowatt hour battery. You cannot DC fast charge on this one. And Jeeps put together some chargers at trailheads in places like Moab, Utah, Big Bear, California, and yes, even at its namesake, Rubicon Trail. When you get inside, there's far more to crow about now on the Wrangler Rubicon. You get Napa leather seats on some trims that are comfortable and supportive enough. The rear seat still isn't stellar when it comes to how the ride feels. You're basically on the rear axle. I wouldn't want to ride back here, and unless it's a small person who can put up with spine compressions, I'd take it easy on your friends over long hauls. You do get some basic safety equipment, but not a ton beyond forward collision warnings and mitigation. You can add on the safety group for $1,395 for things like blind spot warnings and parking sensors. The only trim levels that come with those extra features standard are the top high altitude or Rubicon X. When it comes to infotainment and connectivity, you're looking at a standard, yes, standard 12.3 inch touchscreen. The Uconnect software is very customizable and the processor works with efficiency and hastily enough. It will also let you connect two phones, which is great if you're swapping driver duties. You also get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard. And I just want to take a minute and show you how good this looks. I think it, I think it absolutely looks amazing. Um, so uh, kudos on all the upgrades. You also can get, you can get a package that has, gives you seven charge ports in this thing, uh, which will be really great for charging a bunch of different devices if you are out on the trail. Let's talk about visibility when you're driving. It's great, easy over both shoulders. Noise, well, I give it this. It's better than the Ford Bronco, which to me feels like your wind tunnel testing 24 seven. It's a definite distraction. The Wrangler has never pretended to be something that it's not when it comes to a refined or luxurious in-cabin experience. This is truly a utility vehicle. Jeep just appreciates that you all have loved it enough to drive to and from work in it for so long. If you're looking for an off-roader that has a bit of electrification, you're looking at a narrow field. The Ford Bronco is not electrified. The Toyota 4Runner is if you consider the iForce Max powertrain, but that's not a plug-in. Land Rover's Defender is comparable in price, but you'll only find a mild hybrid setup here. And the Rivian R1S is all electric, but maybe you don't want to go all in quite yet. And now to price. The base Sport S 4xe is a steep $52,590. The Willys 4xE and Sahara 4xE slot in between that and the Rubicon, which is a lofty $63,290. For the high altitude trim, which won't even get you ventilated front seats, you're looking at almost 70 grand. You can also get the Rubicon X 4xE, which has everything that the high altitude does, plus what the Rubicon has, for $72,290. All of those prices include Jeep's destination fee. Every time I seem to talk about price now, it just feels a little bit like an uncomfortable conversation. But if you are in the market for a Wrangler 4xE from Jeep, click on the link above. Kelly Blue Book can help you find a fair purchase price for one. The Wrangler is already a pretty niche product and Jeep has their faithful hordes. They are great purpose-built vehicles that have proven decade after decade that they can get the job done. Yeah, that fits in there. And now they are doing it with electricity. The Jeep Wrangler 4xE. You guys, with this, you get all of that Jeep capability and so much more. Better gas mileage, you get upgrades in the interior, and you still get all that Jeepy Jeep swagger.